Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel Pisces. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good Pisces. This reading for today Pisces, this is a love reading. This is a love message for the Pisces sign. Thank you so much Pisces for supporting the channel. Thank you so much Pisces for being here. If you would like to further connect with me, please click the bell and click the subscribe button, okay? What is coming towards you? What is the guided message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is for the Pisces sign. We are channeling a love reading, a love message for you. Okay, I want you to think about your person. Think about your romantic situation. Let's tap into their energy and let's see how they feel towards you, how they think about you. I am channeling the month of... Um, so I'm channeling the end of April, moving towards the full month of May to June, okay? So I'm doing this reading, and we just had a full moon in Scorpio. We're heading towards Mercury out of retrograde, which is a great, great news. Let us see the love reading for you. What is coming towards you? Think about your person. Think about your romantic situation. Let's tap into their energy, and let's see the love reading the love message for you guys thank you guys for your support what is coming towards you what is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know you have the king of pentacles and so we start your reading <clears throat> so the person that is on your mind or connected to you in a love energy between now end of april moving towards the immediate future is a ten of pentacles this could this could be someone that you met at work okay uh there is a possibility that this person pisces is an ex ex-husband ex-wife uh maybe you have shared a kid kids children uh this is someone at work this is someone who's very workaholic a bit of workaholic or they've got money workaholic there is a business in the background as well with the ten of pentacles in here oh, oh it could be an ex forgiveness um i think this person always they always make acute excuses okay they have a hobby of saying sorry or making like they they have this they have this move that they always say sorry or they like making excuses like they always say i'm busy sorry or sorry for hurting um with the forgiveness card in here um yeah the five of cups i feel like this person they don't know what they want pisces to be honest with you straight off the bat um i would say this person is very unfocused or it could be a person who they want you now with all of their heart now and then tomorrow something comes up and they don't want you I feel like this person one of the reason why things didn't work out between the two of you it's because there's just so much happening into their life especially with the ten of pentacles this is ten they have this they're doing this they have you and a mix of everything and they wanna shuffle like I'm kind of like they're juggling like they won't say no like this person like I'm really picking up the, they're, they're trying to be with you and then if someone offers them to do this project they accept it someone comes along they accept it so they accept everything and they juggle things at the same time and it is creating a big shambles into their energetic map and priorities so technically you've lost them because of being confused it's possible that there could be maybe multiple dating or dating and getting to know the thing is if there was a multiple dating or uh, maybe maybe if there was a third party or multiple dating in here they're confused they don't know who to pick and it costs them more problem to be talking to multiple people or the third party cause them more problem because it, it's a person who has a lot of options and 
they're tasting everything so their palate is so confused because you have the seven of cups yeah this is a staggered energy very staggered energy in here that's probably why this person keeps saying sorry to you for being inconsistent yeah you are the seven of wands i wouldn't be surprised pisces if you stop you know like the seven of wands you stop because they wouldn't give you consistency and they're not solid so you stop loving them you stop liking them you stop desiring them seven of wands or at least you limited it you base you put a boundary you put a limit because ace of swords like come on they're, they're not consistent so i'm not gonna invest further i'm not gonna be more passionate if you're like this so it it created i mean if you can control this person's mind and heart you would tell them focus on me but it's just too much there's so many shambles i'm really picking up with so many so many factors happening to their life at the same time um if they were consistent you you would give it a go you would you know you you would stay a bit longer but somehow you've waited enough for them to be consistent or solid or for some of you could be maybe you're waiting for this person to marry you or something like that but there was something you did gave it a go like you, you gave all of the patient all of the time you, did, you didn't just give up I'd say seven of wands in here right now you versus them the moon card the nine of pentacles in here now your person is broken <laughs> to be honest with your person because of the many things they want okay you know the ten of pentacles they want this they want you they want this too and they want that because of the many things that they have associated themselves whether it's project or person or adventure they've overcommitted themselves to a lot of things i'm really picking up a lot of open tabs in here your person is the moon card they're, they're um, i'm really picking up this person with you know with the full moon in scorpio this person is emotionally exhausted or there's a part of them pisces that they're broken because they've got they they probably achieve a lot but there's no emotional satisfaction it, it it's it's a the metaphor that i'm picking up is that i have so much money but i don't have time to enjoy it so they have achieved a lot but something is empty with the moon card in here they're single the nine of pentacles in here so from 10 it downgraded to a nine so right now your person is emotional and feeling broken left out and empty they probably have the stability they they got something i feel like your person Pisces, they got something out of you or in the past but it's empty it's giving me an empty vibe you are the hierophant card you won't accept less than what you deserve you upgraded more from ace of swords you from ace of swords seven of wands the hierophant card you have one condition you will only date for marriage for long-term commitment point blank period in here the hermit card i think your person is hiding your person is hiding from other people but they would like to expose themselves to you this person has been wondering about you especially right now this person is going to some sort of memory lane they're going through their memory lane and they realize after all of this achievement and this and that why do i feel alone and empty because they couldn't emotionally be satisfied or connected to where they are what they have and who they are that's the that's the other thing your person have lost their identity in the process of trying this doing that and if there's one person who reminds them of their identity on their best like the best part of them it's you the hermit card the nine of pentacles in here especially if this is an ex life it has been great with you 
your person is purging the shadow your person is real like your person with the full moon in Scorpio and we're moving away from the Mercury retrograde and with the influence of the back-to-back -back eclipse this person is feeling what they've lost and feeling what they have in the advantage of like what's the depth of like where they are right now they're not feeling they're not feeling the vibe where they are right now like it's um this person is releasing and relinquishing themselves from people or situation that did not bring them the moon like it they thought they would be happy if they do that they thought they would be contented if they do that or they have that no like your person is coming into whatever they prioritize it did not give them a spiritual contentment and that's being highlighted for them in the full moon your person is letting go of something that they thought it will grow them but actually it is it created junk into their life like it created a spiritual trash in them it trashed their spirit could be something you know something it could be something about money too or codependency or something about a selfish you know whatever this person achieved or whatever they're doing in the past some of it they were they were against you especially if this is an ex um your person is emotionally drained low vibe i think they will feel this i think your the person that is in your mind they will feel this at, up until the end of april that emotionally drained emotionally not satisfied confused where they are who they are and why they're not connecting with the present moment whatever they have accomplished or acquired in the past it just created there is practicality maybe it's like it's, it's a viber okay there's money okay i'm with this person but i'm not happy it created confusion emotional junk spiritually it trashed them okay you know i think you know exactly what they're doing you know exactly what is happening to them you got an idea somehow you're energetically um following this person yeah queen of swords you're open to them but before you know this is you you're the queen of swords you're open to them but they have to face this sword if you look at the queen of swords this is this is the queen of swords before you can kiss the queen of swords you have to kiss the ace of swords so they have to go through a rigid test before they can come close to you they will come to you i think this person will come to you because they need some rescuing the strength card do not be surprised pisces if this person comes to you and they beg you extreme begging extreme apology and they would like you to rescue them you know like the forgiveness they keep saying sorry but this time around it's the real sorry it's not just a sorry to forget the past this is the real so this is the real sorry yeah your person is going to brave like your person is going to tap into the divine masculine and brave like your person is going to drop their ego and brave to connecting with you and asking you if you could give them a chance because they're very lost the page of wands maybe you block them maybe you've you're not gonna reply right away but they will be waving the page of wands they will be eagerly waiting for you to respond um i'm not sure if it's gonna manifest this reading is gonna manifest in may or june but this is definitely a year 2024 because it's there's still a lot for your person to process and i don't think they will be able to process this alone so they'll come for you uh pisces the king of pentacles in here i feel like the way you're going to react with them is like the queen of swords cold but considering it 
So you have to take time to really figure it out. Because you're very intelligent. Somehow you're open, intelligent. And you're also looking into the timings in here. So you also have lots of things to consider and to process before you accept or before you even reject it. Yeah. Invest into decision making. The universe is advising you. The universe is prioritizing you to really exchange thoughts, exchange message, and really invest. Invest time into decision making so you won't have any regrets. This is your reading. Thank you so much, Pisces, for supporting the channel. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. If you would like to further connect with me, please do click the bell, click subscribe, and I'll see you soon again, guys. You have a great day. Bye, Pisces.